so students we are going to move to our next uh, and last part of our chapter number 5 which is the buckingham pie theorem or the method of repeating variables in this buckingham pie theorem we are going to learn basically how to determine this non dimensional parameter pi so in the previous examples you saw that we could generate non dimensional we could basically use non dimensional parameter to determine what uh, is the relationship between model and prototype and determine the properties of prototype but here uh, how to generate this uh, pi is something that we are going to learn and this was basically derived by a very famous uh, scientist edgar buckingham in 1911 and he basically gave six uh, major defining steps okay so these six steps uh, by using these six steps we can basically determine uh, the formula pi okay and it is best to learn it through examples and we are going to go in this chapter to learn uh, with example how to generate uh, this non dimensional parameter so what are those six uh, steps that we need to take to determine the relationships of pi which is the dependent variable as a function of other pi's uh, which are uh independent uh pi okay so how to determine this and what is the formula or value of pi right so step number 1 step number 1 is that we need to list parameters okay so let's say that i have got a pipe okay uh, there is some fluid which is moving at a velocity okay so velocity is a parameter then this pipe has a diameter so diameter is also a parameter then we have got shear forces also on the wall so this is also a parameter so diameter is something which is fixed so it is independent variable then velocity is also fixed so it is independent variable but the shear stress depends or is is basically a function of diameter velocity renold number friction factor etc right so uh so shear stress is uh, dependent variable okay so we need to list down what the parameters involved so usually step 1 involves that you need to put parameters and list down parameters something like that okay then what happens in the in the in step 2 is you need to mention or list primary dimensions primary dimensions okay it means that for my shear stress i need to write it in terms of uh, mlt okay then for my diameter it should be like only length okay and then i've got uh, velocity so it will be uh, meter per second so length t inverse so usually what we do is that we list primary dimensions now the if when we are listing for step number 1 when we are listing parameters we call it n okay where n is the number of parameters okay now we move to step number 3 step number 3 is basically set reduction j okay now what is uh, j is basically something uh, we need to define as reduction reduction means that we need to select primary dimensions primary dimensions so how many primary dimensions we have here we have now one primary dimension we got two primary dimension and then we have got three primary dimensions so in that case j will be equals to 3 let's say for this example how many parameters we have we have n is equals to 3 we have got parameter 1 parameter 2 and parameter 3 now that we have no uh, the number of parameters now we know step 2 is list the primary dimensions we have listed then number step number 3 is set reduction j now how to set this reduction j so the formula is basically the number of pi's pi's okay this is equals to k okay so k is equals to n minus j okay what is number of pi's how many number of pi's we are going to generate in our problem is k okay and this is equals to how much n minus j n is number of parameters so number of parameters were three how what is our j reduction reduction was also three okay so this comes out to be zero <coughs> this is an example which i am giving you guys when we get uh, zero uh, k this is not possible because we need to derive a dimensional parameter so automatically what we do is we reduce one from j okay 
this is our general principle so j becomes 3 minus 1 this equals to 2 so let's calculate again k k becomes 3 minus 2 is equals to 1 so we at least in our problem we are going to have 1 pi that should be calculated so this was step number 3 step number 4 step number 4 says choose j repeating parameter what does it mean now that i know that i have to calculate pi okay but what should i put inside this pi inside this pi formula what should i put that's the question so j this j is going to help us what is j j was repeating right and we selected 2 as our uh, reduction so we will select two repeating parameters parameters what is repeating parameters so uh, if i'm going to back these are my parameters right uh, shear stress let's say i've got uh, diameter i've got velocity okay so i've got these three parameters now i need to select repeating parameters two repeating parameters i need to select any of these two now remember that you cannot select uh, dependent variable as repeating okay you can only select independent so we have two independent number uh, diameter and velocity also you should remember that in these repeating parameters should not have same primary dimensions so there are rules and formulas for repeating parameters so that that they should not have uh, same uh, primary dimensions so if you have same primary dimensions you cannot select them as repeating parameters they should be different okay so in our case let's say for this example we have got d and v so uh, velocity and uh, diameter so we can select diameter and velocity as repeating parameter okay and uh, we need to put one more uh, uh, parameter here which is the dependent parameter which is shear stress okay so after uh, we go and uh, uh, we we need to then derive step number five becomes that step five is construct the case construct k pi's okay so we will just uh, construct pi number one pi and if you have more pi's then we can construct more pi's and manipulate so this is something which i will uh, give you and show you in the example okay and then step number six is that once we have driven the formula then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make a functional relationship that what is it is a function of okay that is step number six so if you go here first we need to do is list down the parameters okay then we need to list the primary dimensions of each parameter okay then we need to go through and set reduction j and uh, using reduction j we calculate the how many pi's we are going to calculate which is k so k becomes equals to n minus j then we go and choose repeating parameters that we need to put in the pi formula okay so in the pi formula how many should be the repeating we need to put and calculate here then we need to construct the k number of pi so we need to pi 1 if we have pi 2 then we need to uh, define them and then we need to at last finally make an algebraic function of pi 1 and pi 2 etc whatever we get so through this uh, six steps we can basically calculate uh, the pi and we are going to go through one example and then we will learn exactly how to determine this become the kingdom pies so students let us solve one example and then we will understand how to derive uh, the dimensionless uh, parameter so suppose that we have got uh, this uh, ball which is basically going to free fall okay this ball is basically at an initial elevation of z0 okay and uh, it has an initial vertical speed uh, w okay and it is basically being driven by a gravitational acceleration in the negative z direction okay so what is given is that elevation z of the ball is basically a function of time number one vertical speed okay number two uh, z which is the initial elevation and then number three gravitational constant so what they have given is z is basically the elevation of the ball is basically a function of uh, these parameters time velocity initial uh, initial elevation and gravity so how many parameters we have we have one two three 
four and five parameters how many dependent and independent we have got one dependent parameter and four independent parameters so what was step number one step number one was list down all parameters okay so we are going to list down all parameters z t initial speed final elevation initial and elevation and gravity step number two is list their primary dimensions so step number two is list primary dimension so what is the primary dimension in curly brackets primary dimension of elevation is length to the power one time is t to the power one and velocity is length into time one minus one and again we have got another elevation t to the power one and then we have got gravity which is l1 t minus 2 so we have step number two has been done okay now step number three was was reduction right so how many parameters we have we have n is equals to five we have got five parameters and then how many uh, what is uh, j okay j we have got uh, one type of primary dimension and then we've got two second type primary dimension so we have j is equals to two okay so the number of expected pies number of expected pies okay this is equals to k is equals to n minus j this is equals to 5 minus 2 this is equals to 3 okay it means that i will have uh, pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 so i will have three dimensionless non-dimensionless numbers okay now we are going to move to step number four so students uh, now we move to step number four Step number four is choose uh, repeating parameters. K. Okay. In our case, K was equals to two. Okay. Now, in the previous step, we know how many number of dimensionless pi we need to calculate. We have got pi one, we have got pi two, and we have got pi three. We need to calculate or we need to determine these three pi based on step number three right now in these uh, pies we will have one two and three parameters one two three one two three okay in which two of them let's say two or three will be repeating repeating parameters okay and number one of each of the pies will not be repeating and remember that pi one should always have one dependent parameter dependent parameter pi one so in our uh, example uh, the dependent parameter is z so in my pi 1 i will all have z okay pi 1 corresponds to dependent parameter so at least one of the parameters from the three would be z and the rest 2 3 2 3 uh, 2 3 will be repeating parameters that i need to select okay i have got five parameters okay from those five parameters i have got uh, z t w naught z naught and g I need to select two of them which are going to repeat in all these pies okay now I already put z in my as a dependent variable okay in pi 1 so z can never be repeating okay so I'm left with four of them so I need to choose four out of these four two of them which are going to repeat in pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 and for this guidelines or a table has been given so let's see the guidelines so the guidelines state that never pick the dependent variable as a repeating variable okay so we are not going to pick z will not be picked okay because it is dependent so i'm not going to put it as a repeating variable next the choosing repeating parameter must not themselves be able to form a dimensionless group so let's say if uh, if i choose uh, row v d and mu okay 
then this is basically Renault, Renault lumber and it will form a dimensionless group itself. So I cannot choose those parameters which are going to form a dimensionless group. Okay, so remember that. So if you know some dimensionless numbers, then you should not pick exactly those parameters. Then the choosing repeating number three is choosing repeating parameter must represent all primary dimensions. It means that let's say from my example, if I select uh, Z and if we have Z naught and then we have got gravity okay this is primary dimension l l n uh, meter l t minus one okay so what is it is saying is that the choosing repeating parameter must represent all primary dimensions in the problem so it should represent l and t all of them should be represented on my parameters and the number four thing is that uh, the chosen uh, uh, parameters should not have same primary uh, dimensions okay so i cannot choose z and z naught and put them in my pie i cannot do this okay because they have the same primary dimensions that is also very important so our choosing repeating variable should have a wide variety of primary dimensions and it should comp uh, it should basically encompass all the dimensions which are available Never pick put two parameters with the same dimension, so that I have discussed already. Okay, whenever possible, choose dimensional constant over dimensional variable, so that only one uh, pi contains a dimension dimensional variable. So if you if there was any constant in this example, then I would have shown you an example, but there is no constant, so we don't need to worry about that. Pick a column common parameter since they may appear in each of the pies. So so we need to uh, pick the common parameters. Okay, that's correct. And then pick simple parameters over complex parameter when possible. So usually, if let's say I've got a very shear force, and then I've got dynamic viscosity, I've got uh, surface tension, and then I've got uh, elevation, then I'm going to select elevation because it is more simple than the other uh, three parameters because they have more complex uh, dimensions. Okay. So these are the, some of the guidelines that you need to look into to select the repeating parameters. So in our case, we I have to select uh, in all of these in all four cases one two three parameters I need to select three which are going to repeat here okay so in this example uh, they have shown that we can select w naught uh, w naught and z naught as repeating variable why because w naught has l t minus one and z naught is uh, l okay and we are covering all the dimensions by every dimensions in our problem which is l and t okay we cannot select z and z not together because they have the same primary dimensions okay we will not go for g because it's a little bit more complex than uh, w not okay so we go for the simpler different different parameters having different uh, primary dimensions but they cover all the primary dimensions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to now write the repeating variables in each of them so here is w not z not w not z not and w not z not so i have determined by my uh, repeating variable now step number five is uh, we start calculating uh, pies okay so we let's let's start putting uh, pies together step number seven also tell us that for fluid problems we should select parameters which are related to fluid so for instance if in exam you are given a, a fluid flow problem then there is a hint basically and the hint is that we can choose uh, uh, the parameter based on the fact of fluid properties. So repeating parameters for flow, most fluid flow are length, uh, you have got mass, you have got density, velocity, etc. So so remember that for fluid flow problems, you can go through these and uh, use these guidelines for selecting. So one more thing is that we need to put here uh, here as well, uh, some those parameters which are left, okay? So time is left and gravity is left, okay? So we are going to put uh, gravity and time. So time and gravity the remaining parameters will be put so that we have got three pies and each pie has three parameters okay two of them are repeating and one is the remaining parameters in each of the pie so let's start uh, calculating uh, pies so let us move to step number five which is the calculation of pies so remember the dependent pie dependent pie which was pi 1 was equals to z times w naught and z naught okay now we are going to put uh, superscript a 1 and b 1 on them okay now in our uh, example we have the maximum number of primary dimensions are 2 which is l and t okay so we are going to put for pi 1 uh, in curly brackets pi 1 this is equals to l and t to the power zero this is something where we need to determine we need to determine the a and b terms using equating l t equals to zero okay so this is equals to z w naught 
a1 z0 b1 okay and what is this equals to we have z is equals to length so this is one then we have w which is l uh, 1 t minus 1 to the power a 1 and then we have got z naught which is length okay to the power b 1 so using this mathematical multiplication uh, formula rule okay uh, as you can see that if we multiply uh, x to the power a into x to the power b into x to the power 2c then it becomes x a plus b plus 2c okay so based on that i can calculate each time and length separately okay this is equals to l0 and t0 right so for time it becomes t0 i'm going to separate time and length is equals to t minus a1 okay this implies that 0 is equals to minus a1 so a1 is equals to 0 okay now let's go to length length is l to the power 0 is equals to l1 l a1 and l b1 this implies that where 0 is equals to 1 plus a1 plus b1 okay so b1 is equals to minus 1 minus a1 a1 is equals to 0 so b1 is equals to minus 1 okay so let put, put these two a1 equals to 0 and b1 equals to minus 1 into this equation so my pi 1 is equals to z multiply by uh, w naught to the power 0 into z naught to the power minus 1 so pi 1 is equals to z over z naught so this is my first answer or first pi this is the value now similarly we are going to calculate pi so pi number 2 is equals to t w naught a to the power 2 z naught to the power b2 okay so dimensions are of pi 2 is equals to l naught t0 this is equals to t w naught e to the power 2 z naught b to the power 2 this is equals to t l1 t minus 1 to the power a2 and then we have got l to the power b2 so if i separate out then t0 is equals to t1 t minus a2 so 0 is equals to 1 minus a2 so a2 is equals to 1 similarly length l0 is equals to l a2 l b2 so 0 is equals to a2 plus b2 this implies that b2 is equals to minus a2 this implies that b2 is equals to minus 1 let's put it in our pi and our pi 2 becomes w naught t over z naught similarly we are going to calculate pi number 3 pi 3 was equals to g w naught a3 z naught b3 so this implies that l naught t0 is equals to l1 t minus 2 l1 t minus 1 a3 l b3 okay so time t0 is equals to t minus 2 t minus a3 this implies that a3 is equals to minus 2 and uh, similarly for length l0 is equals to l1 l a3 l b3 this implies that b3 is equals to 1 so our pi 3 is g z not whole divided by w not whole square so this is my answer number 3 answer number 2 so now we need to move to step number 
फाइव सिक्स बट बिफोर मूविंग स्टेप नंबर सिक्स वी नीड टू डू सम्पल मेनिकुलेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर वी मूव टू स्टेप नंबर सिक्स वी नीड टू चेक वेदर आवर पाइज और बेसिकली डायमेंशन लेस और नॉट सो आवर पाई वन वॉज बेसिकली जेड ओवर जेड नॉट ओके सो दिस वॉज लेंथ ओवर लेंथ ओके सो दिस वॉज इक्वल्स टू वन सो यू कैन सी दैट ऑल आवर पाइज आर डायमेंशन लेस वेन वी चेक दैन सो आवर पाई टू वॉज डब्ल्यू नॉट टी ओवर जेड नॉट And pi three was W. Uh, sorry, G Z not over W not whole square. <coughs> Now before moving to step number six, we need to see whether manipulation can be done or not. M I N U. P U L A T I O manipulation. What is manipulation? Manipulation is basically something in which we basically manipulate the formula. We make some uh, small changes. Okay, we make some small changes so that our pi is in a more established form. Proper establish. form what does it means and it is more socially acceptable okay socially acceptable so before moving to step 6 we need to see if any of our pi can be uh, socially acceptable or it, it is in a proper established form how we have various numbers okay we have got archimedean number aspect ratio boyd number bond number there are so many numbers okay so we need to run down and see whether our pi matches or partially matches any one of them okay so our pi has uh, if i go back our pi has <coughs> gravity height and uh, w not which is velocity so moving back here i can see that if i look at row number we have velocity we have gravity and we have height okay but row number fr is equals to v over g l under root okay whereas our dimensional less number okay it is dimensional less yeah but how can we modify it so by 3 is g z not over uh, w not whole square so what i can do is i can basically multiply it by uh, inverse it basically so inverse when i'm going to inverse it it becomes so when i'm going to do inverse then it becomes pi 3 is equals to w not square over g z not and then i'm going to multiply it by uh, a power of uh, 1 by 2 so i'm going to root it so this this becomes pi 3 is equals to w not whole divided by into root g z not this is equals to pi 3 now as modified pi 3 so pi 3 has been modified okay <coughs> this is equals to w not whole divided by under root g z not this is equals to fraud number okay so basically there are some rules for uh, doing modification first thing is that it should match one of the numbers one of the generally acceptable and socially acceptable numbers okay number 3 is that you need to see the table and then uh, you know should know what what are the factors that we can multiply divide so we can impose a constant okay we can perform a functional operation okay so i can basically multiply it with any power okay i can also even put a constant uh multiply with an exponent or something then we can multiply with a factor okay half twice fourth we can form a product or quotient with any pi with another pi so if i have got pi 1 and then i have got pi 2 and then if i go to multiply or divide them or add them uh, i can get another type of number so if i can get any type of number uh, generally a socially acceptable number then i can do this operation as well we may use the guidelines 1 2 3 in combination so i what i can do is i can i can basically manipulate it by half i can uh, put an exponent on this pi then i can multiply divide them together to get a socially acceptable number from that 
uh, list <coughs> and then we can substitute a dimensional parameter in the pi with another parameter of the same dimensions so we can do this manipulation these four uh, five types of manipulations and it is not very limited as well to get some pies but obviously for your case for your subject it is a bit complex so for your level we are going we will not go into the manipulation stuff even if we do then the number would be given for you so that it is easy for you guys to manipulate so now that we have done the manipulation okay uh, we can now write uh, we can finally ready to write our functional relationship so step number six number six is functional relationship relationship of pies okay okay so basically pi 1 as we said was dependent is basically a function of independent pies pi 2 and pi 3 okay so this implies that pi 1 value is z over z naught this is basically equals to function of w naught t over z naught comma w naught whole divided by under root g z naught okay so these are the normal dimensional term and uh, this is basically the final result looks like final result of dimensional analysis is z basically is basically a function of t time and fraud number so if, if i see i can see that in fraud number we have w not already z already but t is not present okay so our uh, z which is the height of our uh, ball is a function of the time okay which was coming in the first uh, dimensional parameter and fraud number uh, that you have seen already so this is my final result so this was all about uh, buckingham pi theorem and we will just have a look at one simple example and then we will finish this